Yes, Red Zone TV kuwali, tuchagina maso na ukubanga ate tukutusako evigenda maso monsonga ya honalevo zake Francis Sibutevi. Oli kumukutu kwa Red Zone TV, atubade tukuwa saidi eri kumukutu kwa Uganda wanga tukuwa ichigena maso na eka kati njagalo kutegeza nti honalevo zake Francis Sibutevi bamazo kubanga bamu wa bail, bamu tade era amazo kubanga afuruma. Ni wangu wade, waluwa kasente, akageno kubanga kasa suruwa. Ensonga zino, zika anda alilide, bitu temu waka banga na e-finale amaze naba nga furu mazake echimu kubile esensu wanga zinokuru wawo baba dete baba vunanyeche echimu juki la zake baba mfuna na musangu guwa kufuga nga waga amba mbu ya fuga bubi emoto ka lilaya menya mateka ga kungudo kakate sawa zeno zenyini guwa mpuliriza kumukutu oguwa Red Zone TV njagalo kutegeza nti zake hatekati emisango je baba zoku banga baba wabeiro ye na baba mkuba kulembeze abalala na kugambie baba kulembeze wade wanji ne tebandeke Charles tebandeke na yaba deyo mkoti yemu na yona lego zake Francis Sikutevi haba mkuba kansala omulimo viru jemusi na abalala ila bavudeyo basa gambiza bavudeyo bawaga ila zake yemu waka eka ayimbio kuchigambo people power our power mumbela zino jowe yose nyonyi avudeyo kona ye na yogela kunsonga endala awo uzo gendo kubango ulaba guampuliriza kumukuto guwa Red Zone TV wavula Ngenda kubanga vyo nambi kuwa ata na subscribe nga chukole Tuwerenga ate tutambula fena Ngenda kuwa enso unge nungavu eva de Oliku mkutu kwa Red Zone TV Bovata na subscribe nga chukole Enso unga zo na overenga tozi misi Nga nga sina kuwa bigambu ya zake na ansasa geja ata deo Kankujuki ze kuhaji abudu Omuso miwe dua akutegeza kunso unga zo na ezevi ziwebi kutawanya Habakazi teba kuwa gala wakuwa gala kwa katono Nga baduka oboli mukazi ngoli musajja Oboli mukazi oboli musajja ngo fune vizi uvyevimu Akutegeza nti mutu kilile enso unga ze mili mwazuko lako Ebienzi minga vigota nyabiko lako Ategeza nti na uba tolimu guanga Uganda ngoli kweru wa guanga Akutegeza nti mkubile Oba mutuki liye ku whatsapp Enambiri zile msambu tano bili Bina anamu msambu chukumi Atano mkaga Ensonga ziberinga zita andika zita ambula Kankulage chili mkoti Oba echivade mkoti Abade kumukutu kwa fugwa Uganda 1 Bino vienjo gila kwa kasa Ovidavye live Atubade yunga tubikuwa live Na yate wano kuwe dizon tv Jagaro kutegeza Bwebi tiwe vibade Zakenga afuruma Mosanyo Elechikecha wa gulu Deni uluvanyuma Nejoro senyo ni leader of opposition Wanalabo shami marende Baina chivoge de uliriza I'm okay, how are you? Eshiri wa chocho, kuna rebo Francis zake, mtevi na ya wedi drabeiru. Deni nebali ya balala na uwa wedi drabeiru. Enso nga rechi wa wadi baba ude, budi yombali kumisango janja ulo. So, zake ba mkudeke misango janja ulo, nebali na wane baba gulako janja ulo. So, yene mbele liwo, baganda bange. Hata kuno kuno nyechi. Yes, mbela mbade wa machi haba nyonyo la balu nja bali kwa omu kusa Ti honorable Francis Zake Mtevi Awele dwa na ebeiru Our power People power Our power NUP Everywhere NUP Anita must resign. Mazima. Yes, she chile wano kwa 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 Government show boy no kula kuli zava ntu bano. Nebo no loza ntu jaku bati sati sa jaku ba yola no kuba 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 na chi. Chija kuni zana ba la la ba tavi bade kuba government na yeso kuli ke. Abantu bano just today kala kasa mirembe. Ateni songa sebo geda ko. Ena zituluma maluariro teli dagala engu donfu amasomero kali bubi service delivery nevi la vidi bubi. Katina ba na 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 Uganda ba la la. Ensonge na wale teba jiri kuneka tupata ni suti bi na ko. Kati government jino njua gabu edidi Temumbe nanga wili ya mruto president wa Kenya Ya soka na eka anga vidiza Na ale menako Aba bubu kane vale menako paka paka Kati biyalea jino kola mkusoka Na abi kola chikerezi Biru na juu withdrawing Kabinet na juu dissolving Ni aba bubu kane vale menako Olaba wakano kutu uliza kululi Kakati chitekeza na yitolimu kule mbeze mtu Nawe vao 
bacha ale medeko kati na mede hizo kuluza tibi neko ziso mkono uguwe chuma uguwa maanyi ita kukakanya mbele ino nida iba ye yongira uwe yongezi fe umulange tukubidiza wa kukuka sikarenga muli bambine mingawe mguze mkola ati tukubidiza oboli wachibinachi oboli wachibinachi ene nisonga feni tukwata kuhu tukubidiza na wakule mbeze wa fe awa madini awa kule mbeze awe nuno awa antubo na ense nchonge nusi ya vya mfuzi enguzi fe na ene kuma kuchukwata kuhu beyo ene kusonge tumujile kena justi wa kuhuka na awa kule ujoki na kuhu briefling lingi ini 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 we did come to court here for the second time after our colleagues, members of parliament, councillors, and members of our party, and so on, we are brutally picked up as they came to attend a press conference at our party headquarters. Something which is not an offence, anyway. They charged them with uh, all manner of things, and awful assembly, traffic offences, and so on. We are glad that the second time we have come for their bail hearing has been granted. The state was trying to derail the process, saying we need two weeks, they need two weeks to be sure and verify these national IDs. We said, that, that won't be serious, right? How do you say you need two weeks to verify a national ID of a member of parliament, of the Ugandan citizen? You're the government. Call the NIDA people, let them verify. Do you have this ID number and that kind of thing? And we are glad that court said, no, let's deal with this matter today. And eventually, our colleagues have been granted bail because they committed no offense. That's why they have been strong through this entire process. Our clarion call is even for these other Ugandans, especially young people that have been arrested this week because they have been peacefully demonstrating against corruption in parliament, corruption in many government entities, and they were brutally arrested. Let's release these people on bail too. What government needs to do is to listen to them. Thinking that you'll be high-handed, brutalize them as you arrest them, and so on, it will not work. Because as you arrest others, the other day they arrested several of them. Even today, others came out and they've arrested them. Tomorrow, others will come out. Listen to their concerns. Address their concerns of this corruption that is skyrocketing every other day. Don't be like President William Ruto of Kenya, who woke up when it was too late. Because the people of Kenya were saying, this finance bill is bad. Reject it. Withdraw it. He refused. When the pressure intensified, he withdrew the bill. He dissolved parliament, I mean cabinet. But now the young people of Kenya, they are saying, you see, you didn't even listen to us at the start. That means you're not a good leader. We want you to also go. And so the protests are continuing, even after he withdrew that bill. Is that the kind of lesson you want to have? Listen to the young people. They are saying we need to deal with corruption. And good enough, this matter has been depoliticized. It's not just an opposition matter. I saw young people saying they belong to the NRM. They're also arrested. So journalists, artists, civil society, and, and so on, which is what it should be because corruption is not a political matter. It affects all of us. Everybody is affected. And I would like to urge other sections of society, religious leaders, cultural leaders, civil society organizations, um, all manner of people and leaders, let's voice our concerns on the question of corruption because it affects all of us. It doesn't have a political party that this party is the only one that should be talking about these issues. All of us should be up in arms speaking about this matter, saying action has got to be taken. Thank you. Thank you, Sir Council. Thank you.